Welcome to I Love Stocks, and we're going to be talking about three tickers today. Tesla, Baidu, and then a Chewy. Chewy. So they were all three great trades today, especially what happened to Chewy after hours. But play of the day today was brought into us with from Josie. She called out Mara. She called out this option here at the $40 strike. It was a call at a 180, and the expiration date was on 411. It went from 180 to 465, giving the room 158%. So it had a volume of 21 million, and that was just a great call in the room. And we make plenty of them. There were a lot of good ones today. Miss Vegas called out Tesla. Tesla had a great run this morning, and we're going to pull up the chart on it all the way for right, got right in it first thing in the morning. She called this baby out. Now, I expected it to pull a little bit of back i do every day almost and i was thinking it was going to pull back a little bit more even because of of the uh, news that i heard this morning about them supposedly be overcharging for uh invoices i guess to their customers so you know that's not a good thing but instead the start the stock just ran like a dickens it ran all the way up to my resistance level that i had i called out in the room and it was right around the 636 area and then after hours we're up here at 636 30 i think it was 634 is where i where my resistance level that i was calling it out at or 633 it was up here at this peak because we came real closely hitting it and then she pulled back and then she ran up the charts that i'm using right now is my moving averages of the sma i like using this when it comes to scalping and day trading especially on the daily one minute i use it on the hour Day, uh, 20 day one hour and I use it on the yearly daily so let's go ahead and look for some support levels on it if this thing pulls back in the morning it could pull back to this low support right here at 614.68 then we have that second one right here at 622.79 with that first one right there at 629.43 the resistance to break we're going to pull up the 20 day Meritrade's running a little slow today, but we got 639.38, and that's 650.44. And I think that's a pretty good little spot for resistance level. We had a previous high, and then we had some lows here. So that's going to be a hard one to break. If we can bust past that 650 area, we'll take it to 658. And that's Tesla. Great call, Miss Vegas, in the room. She called it at the bottom. The next one we're going to talk about, and we play mostly options on these big tickers. The next one's one I called out in the morning, and that was Baidu. We're going to go ahead and type this in the room. I got in way before I even had a clue it was going to bounce up. I just felt good this morning when I come in. And you notice the market was red most of the day, but we try to stay green. You know, if, if days like today, if you can't trade these kind of days, it's best like Miss Vegas said today after hours. Just kind of take a rest, take a break. It's always good. Wait for the times. It's best for you. And I can trade this market any day if it's red or green. I can play the pullbacks. I can play resistance levels. I've got so many different ways I can play the market that I'm got just stuck on one one kind of uh, fan, one kind of uh, you know. I can hardly say thank you. Or at least one way of trading. I can do it many ways. So we're going to go ahead and look at this one here, Baidu. I called it out. I mean, we had this inverse head and shoulders, and I got a resistance channel that I want to take it to, and that's right here, right around the 227.12 to 232.63. So if we can bust past this, I called this out in the last video. I said we needed to break that 219.33 area, and we just couldn't do it. And that was in the video that I was talking about yesterday. You can go back and look at it. But I called out the inverse head and shoulders, and I said we needed to break this 219.33. We're not be able to do it. There's a lot of good news coming out on this stock. I think um, Goldman Sachs bought a bunch of shares, and then uh, Kathy Woods also the other day jumped in a bunch of it on the dip. So we're going to run this all the way back up here. I hope we can break that 219.33, 227.12, and then at 232.63. And that's a resistance channel. That's the hard one we got to break. If we can get up in this resistance channel, we'll take it higher. But for right now, you notice the market has a short attention span. 
the pullback on this stock was basically because of what uh, the way uh, our tensions were with China, and then it's kind of gone away in about three days, and now she's starting to run back up. So I'm bullish on this stock. I think support level is no lower than that 204 area. I'd like to see that hold if it does pull back. Then that, but that's a strong buy. Your third support is going to be right here at 208. Then you've got this 213, 32, and then the 215, 29. I'll magnify this up for you so you can read it a little bit better. And you can stop and pause this at any time and write these numbers down. But the resistance channel that we need to break is going to be the 227.12 and 232.63. But we wake up in the morning and we're above 219. I think we will get there. And that's Baidu. And then the last one that I called out in the room today is um, Chewy. That's the wrong thing here. Let's get to Chewy. C-H-W-Y. I'll show you why I like this stock so much. C-H-W-Y. I knew earnings were coming out, plus I knew we were in a Darvis box, you know, Darvis box. I like playing these, these sideway channels. You know, I, I talk about how I like to play chart patterns and how I like to play candlesticks. And I've been playing this sideways channel for a long time, but I think what really, even after 15 years, I didn't know what they were called. And we have a gentleman in the room called uh, Darvis. He trades the Darvis box. So this is what you call a Darvis box. Now I've been playing this sideways channel for a long time, trying to buy its support, finding a pivot point in that channel, and then breaking resistance levels. And that pivot point area was right in here, right there, right around the 83.53. I'm going to color this in red so I can remember that. And that's going to be coming a support level. But earnings came out, and I bet you they were pretty good. Because this thing ran up to the resistance level of that channel. Now, if you notice, I'm going to pull up the little alert that I made in the room. And my trade idea on the options was April 16th. And I've got ways to go out on this trade. And it was the $80 strike. And it was, as of now, it was at 535 And the support idea, just in case it did pull back, was no lower than that 70 830 and then the resistance level to break was 86 and that was the resistance channel inside the Darvis box we made it all the way up to 8803 and a little bit more so I'll be able to get out of this trade tomorrow unless this thing goes ahead and pulls up but if it doesn't start to break out I'll sell it and play the pullback now I think the support level is going to be the pivot point inside of this channel and we're going to draw that in right in here I'm going to draw this red. Let me see here. I'm going to do this. Uh, change this red. I'm looking for like a pivot point, and I'm going to color it in. Now, I haven't done this before, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Let me see go here then I'll take this box and make it a little bit darker use this light gray maybe yeah that's perfect perfect actually that's pretty cool so what we've got here I think if it does pull back I don't want to see it go no lower than this 82 to 83 53 that's going to be the pivot point inside the Darvis box that first support is here at 8601 with that resistance to break here at 8803. And then if she does start to run, you can take this baby up to 9145. Let me change this out. We probably take it up here to this area right in here at 89. And then you got another resistance level here at 9059. And then a strong one right here at 9145. Now, I'm a pet lover. So I know this stock, even during COVID crisis, people are ordering a lot more stuff online. And I think that will continue. I don't think that fad will, will stay away because, you know, I personally don't like going to the pet store and buying my dog his stuff when I had a dog, but I had to, or I did, I didn't have to. But if I had a pet these days, I'd probably go ahead and order it through Chewy. 
because it's so convenient you can get it out of the way and you can go ahead and find something that that uh, occupies your time a little bit better unless you'd like to take your dog to the pet store and have him kind of buy his own presents so those are the three I'm talking about those are the three I'm going to watch I think they were great trades and that's going to be Tesla, Baidu, and Jamia. I mean, not Jamia, but uh, Chewy. I got it in Jamia too. So let's talk about it, being as I talked about it. I'm in this option. And I think we can break on up. I think we can break on out on it. And I'm looking for a resistance level on, level on JMIA at 36.43 to break. If we can bust past that, we'll take it up here to right around the $38 level. But I'm bullish on this stock. I think support should be no lower than probably, oh, well, you know, we got three support levels here, so take all three of them, 34.78, 34.26, and 33 bucks. But I'm bullish on this trade. I think we're ready to re-squeeze, but we need to break this resistance of 36.43, and I am in the option, and we'll see how that goes come tomorrow. So everybody have a great day. Remember, this is I Love Stocks. Miss Vegas, post alerts in here. If you're not a member to our room, you can always find them alerts in here on Twitter. Hit that follow button. And then also on our website, we've got our Twitter links, our stock tweet links, and then our YouTube channel. You can go back. Just uh, last week, I did a five series on how to take five tickers and play them all week long. You can go start from one, two, three, four to part five, and I'll just go through the trades that I made in that period of time. Again, I want to give a shout out to Josie. That was a great call today on Mira, and she is now a member of the Play of the Day group. So, I love stocks. We'll catch you tomorrow.